Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful women top. This is a very easy beginner pattern and I am going to use only 240 grams of yarn for this project. This is L size or XL size. Okay, so we can start working on this tutorial. For this project, I am going to use this Karen cotton cake yarn. This is a very very soft and it is perfect for summer or spring projects. This is medium 4 ply yarn, 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. This is 250 gram of yarn. This is the top. Okay. So, and I have added picot border in the sleeve and the neck portion. And this is the top design, overall top design. Okay. So, if you want, you can increase the length based on your size. I will measure the uh, length of this top. Okay. From here to here, almost 21 inches length. Okay, so if you want you can increase 21 inches length 53 centimeter and the width of the top is from here to here 21 inches. Okay, so you can increase or decrease based on your size 21 to 18 or 19. Okay, but this top size is 21 inches height and 21 inches width. Okay, so this is the neck and this is the top design. This is very, very uh, pretty pattern and very easy pattern too. Okay, so we have to start from one pattern and body portion is different. So, I am going to use G 4.5 mm hook for this project. So, first to make a slip knot, now you have to make a chain 96, the chain should be multiples of 6. If you are making small size means you have to decrease 6 count and or 12 count depends on the size. Okay, Once you are making couple of chains, you can insert the hook here. Do it like this so that it will not get twist because we need to form a big ring. Okay. So, for that purpose, I am going to use this technique to make a ring. So, just continue making the chain like this for 96 chains. Okay. So, I have completed with 96 chains. Now, I am going to make a slip stitch like this way. Now, chain 1. Make a single crochet in the same stitch like this. To join the ring. This is the first single crochet and then continue making single crochet in every chain till the end of this row. You should get 96 single crochets at the end. Just continue till end here. So, I have completed. Now, I am going to make a single crochet here and then single crochet. So, you should get 96 single crochet. So, please make sure you can count and confirm. So, I have got 96 single crochet now. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round. Okay. So, make sure it should not get twist. This next size is perfect for large or XL size. So, this is the first row and then second row make a chain 3, double crochet in the same stitch and then skip 2 stitches in the next chain make double crochet, chain 3, double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4 double crochet and then skip 2 chains, 2 double crochet in the next stitch, 1, 2 like this and then skip 2 chains, 
double crochet chain 3 double crochet and then skip 2 chains 2 double crochet like that you have to repeat the round just continue like this 2 double double crochet chain 3 double 2 double by skipping 2 2 stitches in the middle continue till the end so I have completed right now I am going to skip 2 stitches in the next stitch make a double crochet chain 3 double crochet so you have to finish with double crochet chain 3 double crochet started with 2 double crochet now skip 2 stitches in the third chain make a slip stitch to finish this round like this now chain 3 one is increase round and another is no, no increase round this is increase round so for that chain 3 in the next double crochet stitch make a 2 double crochet this is the way we have to increase like this ok and then in the next chain 3 space make 5 double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then in the next 2 double crochet is the right so there the first double crochet make 1 double crochet and then in the next double crochet you have to make 2 double crochet. like this ok and then in the next chain 3 space make 5 double crochet so like that you have to repeat 5 double and then 3 double 5 double 3 double So you just continue like this way 3 double 5 double 3 double 5 double till the end of this row ok now I have finished with 5 double crochet make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round so next row will be no increase round for that chain 3 make 1 double crochet in next 2 stitches So 3 double crochet now ok now skip 2 stitches in the middle third stitch right so here you have to make double crochet chain 3 double crochet and then skip 2 stitches here skip 2 stitches double crochet chain 3 and then skip 2 stitches make a double crochet in 3 stitches so 1 this is a second double crochet and this is a third double crochet 
like this and then again skip 2 stitches the next stitch make double crochet chain 3 double crochet and then skip 2 stitches double crochet in 3 stitches like that you have to repeat the round So just continue like this till the end. Three double double crochet chain three double crochet three double double crochet chain three double crochet. Okay, like that you have to repeat by skipping two two stitches in the middle till the end. So I have completed. Okay. Now you have to skip two stitches and make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. chain 3 now this is the increase round for that in the next double crochet stitch here make 2 double crochet and then 1 double crochet in the next so you should get 4 double crochet here right so we have increased from 3 double crochet to 4 double here you have increased 2 to 3 now 3 to 4 like that way you have to increase every alternative rows now next will be 5 double crochet in the chain 3 space that remains same ok that double crochet chain 3 double crochet and 5 double crochet remains same for will vary every alternative row one row is v stitch another row is 5 double so like that but we have to increase only the double crochet stitch ok so 5 double and then now here make one double and then 2 double and then 1 double like that ok now you have to make 5 double crochet in the chain 3 space like that you have to repeat the pattern So, 5 double, 4 double, 5 double, 4 double. Just continue till end. So, I have completed, finished with 5 double. Now, I am going to make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round like this. Now, you have to make a no increase round, right? So, chain 3, double crochet in 3 stitches. So, 4 double and then skip 2 stitches. In the next stitch, make a double crochet chain 3, double crochet. And then skip 2 stitches, double crochet in next 4 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4 
and then skip two stitches make a double crochet chain three double crochet like that you have to repeat the pattern So you just continue with the similar pattern 4 double and then V stitch 4 double V stitch like that you have to repeat till the end of this row. So I have completed now skip 2 stitches make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. So now this is the increase round. So chain 3 double crochet in the next stitch and then in the every third stitch you have to do an increase so here is the third stitch right so here you have to make two double and then one double okay so you can see right so from four double to five double we have increased now now again you have to make a five double crochet in the chain three space so one two three four and five and then make one double in two stitches and then two double in the next stitch one double in the next so you just repeat like that So you just continue like this 5 double, 5 double again, 5 double, 5 double till the end of this row. Okay. So you have to repeat the pattern like this till you reach row 13. So next row will be no increase round. So directly 5 double, 5 double the same. And then next row will be uh, 2 double, third stitch you have to increase to 2 stitches. So 5 double to 6 double, right? And then no increase round and then 6 double to 7 double you have to increase. So, I will explain everything in the next uh, uh, screen. Okay. So, you just see the increase right. So, we have to increase only the double crochet. So, one row will be increase, one row will be no increase and this V stitch and 5 double remains the same. So, here you can see clearly row 8, row 9, row 10, row 11, row 12, row 13 like that you just proceed. So, I have completed 13 rows like this you can see clearly here so here four double right so here we made a one increase in the third stitch two doubles so of here five double no increase so next will be six double for that in the center middle stitch in the third stitch we have increased and then here in the fourth stitch we have increased 
so here no increase and then increase so like that way you have to increase carefully for one row increase one row no increase so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay first row is a single crochet row so totally 13 rows i have completed so after that we will work on the sleeve for the uh, before that i will measure the uh, chest size so this is the size 7 inches i have made if you make a small size you can increase decrease to 6 inches or increase to 8 inches for the big size okay for this size i am making 7 inches so we will divide the sleeve portion now okay so i have already marked the marker so front side 6 shells and back side 6 shells this is the 6th shell of front so here also this is the first shell of the front so the same amount you have to leave for the back side also so this is the joining portion right so here this is the back side of the top okay so one two three so in the fourth cell here we have joined the armhole and here are one two in the second cell so totally six shells we have leave right so first shell we have marked a marker and sixth shell we have marked the marker same you have to do for back side front side also okay so totally six shells here so we have to start from here for the sleeve okay so i will explain you everything after you starting the row okay so i think if you you can increase the sleeve portion based on your size so we have to start working from 14th row now so 13th rows we have completed right so 14th row we have to start for that i am going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch and then again slip stitch in the next slip stitch in the next because we have to start 14th row from here so next space you can see right so in the space okay in the middle increase stitch to double crochet we have increased right so in the space we have to make a slip stitch because we have to start this 14th row from here only okay in every space so now make a chain one single crochet in the same space not in the stitch and then chain eight so one okay two three and four five six seven eight so chain eight now you have to skip four stitches because we have worked in the space so here one two three four in the next stitch this is the first stitch of the five double crochet make a single crochet like this okay now chain eight one two three four five six seven eight now you have to skip three stitches so here center space we have started right so skip four stitches now we have to skip three stitches and then we have to make a single crochet in the fifth stitch so first stitch one single and fifth stitch one single so middle three double crochet we have to skip now chain eight two three four five three four five and then six seven eight now we have to skip four stitches in the space here in the increased space right so here you have to make a single crochet and then again chain eight one two three four five six seven eight now again skip four stitches make a single crochet in the next stitch and then skip three stitches so you can see here right so skip four stitches single and skip three stitches single four stitches single three stitches single so chain eight you have to make a chain eight okay so like that you have to repeat till the marked sleeve so here and here till here so i have completed now this is the marker right this shell is the marker so after this shell we get one 
2 2 shells are there and then another shell we have marked a marker so 2 in the sleeve you get 4 shells over ok fully so this is the first shell and this is the second shell and this is the third shell and this is the fourth shell so we have to make a sleeve from here to here ok you will get it right so the same you have to follow other side sleeve also now I mark you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 chain 8 I have made now you have to make a 8th chain 8 right so for that you have to skip all the stitches now chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now you just turn it over the other side shell fifth stitch you have to make a single crochet so you just turn it to the other side now make a single crochet in the fifth stitch here so that you will get four shells in the sleeve so I will remove the marker and show you now so now chain H and then skip four stitches and in the space here you have to make a single crochet now again chain 8 and then skip four stitches make a single crochet in the next stitch ok then chain 8 and then skip three stitches make a single crochet in the next stitch so you have to continue like this ok so chain 8 I will remove the marker and show you the sleeve size so this is the sleeve size ok so if you want you can decrease or increase the sleeve length so here you first shell right for the sleeve so 1 2 3 4 so 4 shells ok so for the sleeve the same you have to do for other side just continue that same pattern till you reach the next marker here ok so I have completed see chain 8 single chain 8 single now chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now here in the other side of the stitch here make a single crochet ok now again chain 8 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then here skip 4 stitches make a single crochet in the next space so just remove the marker so this is the size of the other side sleeve so here also you can see 4 shells 1 2 and then 3 4 ok and then just continue making a chain 8 single chain 8 single by skipping 3 stitches 4 stitches till the end so at the end now I have to make a chain 8 slip stitch in the first single actually I have got 30 chain 8 spaces in this row ok so you make sure you should get 30 chain 8 spaces so now skip 4 stitches make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round ok so this chain 8 spaces is the right including the sleeve chain 8 also you have you've got 30 chain 8 totally now I am going to make a chain 4 chain 4 considers double crochet chain 1 and then double crochet in the same single crochet stitch ok like this and then chain 1 in the chain 8 space here make a single crochet and then chain 1 and then in the next single crochet stitch here you have to make double crochet chain 1 double crochet like this and then chain 1 single crochet in the chain 8 space chain 1 
and then single crochet stitch make double crochet chain 1 double crochet. and then chain 1, single crochet in the chain 8 space and then chain 1 and repeat again. So, you just repeat like this single crochet you have to make double crochet chain 1 double crochet and then in the chain 8 space you have to make chain 1 single crochet chain 1 ok. So, you have to repeat the pattern like this till the end of this row. See this is the design of the pattern. So, single and then double crochet chain 1 double and then single chain 1 double crochet chain 1. So, like that you have to repeat. So, just continue till the sleeve chain here ok. So, here you have to make a single double crochet chain 1 double single. So, like that. So, I have completed I have reached the sleeve portion here so same. So, chain 1 we made right. So, now in the next single here make double crochet chain 1 double crochet. chain 1, single crochet in the chain 8 space here and then chain 1, then the next single here make double crochet chain 1 double crochet, chain 1 and then single crochet in the chain 1 chain 8 space. So, this is the sleeve. So, normal pattern only for doing the sleeve. So, now chain 1 make a double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the single crochet stitch and then chain 1 single crochet here then chain 1 just continue like this till you reach the next sleeve here. So, I have completed now the single crochet stitch make double crochet chain 1 double crochet and then chain 1 in the chain 8 space here make a single crochet chain 1 and then in the single crochet stitch make double crochet chain 1 double crochet and then chain 1 single crochet in the chain 8 space chain 1 and then double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the single crochet stitch. chain 1 and then single crochet in the chain 8 space. So, like that way you have to repeat till the end of this row. So, I have completed now I am going to make a slip stitch now chain 1 make a slip stitch in the third chain. So, you have to make a slip stitch till the single crochet stitch. So, slip stitch now slip stitch in the chain 1 space slip stitch in the stitch and then slip stitch in the single crochet stitch here and then you have to start working on the row from the single crochet stitch here. Now chain 1 make a single crochet in the same stitch like this and then chain 8 3 4 5 6 7 8 so, you have to skip the double crochet chain 1 double crochet you have to directly work on single crochet in the single crochet stitch. This whole row you have to work on only single crochet stitch. So, chain 8 and then make a single crochet in the single crochet stitch here and then chain 8 and then single crochet in the next single crochet stitch here and then chain 8. single crochet in the 
next single crochet stitch then chain 8 single crochet in the next single crochet stitch then chain 8 so like that you have to repeat the pattern so chain 8 single chain 8 single so only in the single crochet stitch you have to skip double crochet chain 1 double crochet like this okay just continue till end so I have completed now again you have to make a chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch and then you have to follow the same pattern 15th row 15 you have to follow the same pattern which we have did in the row 15 so you have to make a chain 4 1 2 3 4 and then double crochet in the same stitch then chain 1 single crochet in the chain 1 space chain 1 and then double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the single crochet stitch then chain 1 single crochet chain 1 so like that you have to repeat so you can see here right so this chain double crochet chain 1 double crochet you should get the every middle of the previous double crochet chain 1 double crochet so the design will be like this v stitch you will get the middle of the previous v stitches so now chain 1 again you have to make a double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the single so like that you have to repeat the pattern till the end of this row just continue like this till the end of this row here okay so single crochet chain 1 single crochet and then double crochet chain 1 double crochet so I have completed now chain 1 make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this row now you have to do the slip stitch again till the first single crochet stitch okay so same we have to follow the same pattern of row 16 now we have to start with chain 1 single crochet in the same stitch and then chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then make a single crochet in the previous single crochet stitch and then chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then single crochet in the single crochet stitch then chain 8 and then single crochet in the single crochet stitch then again chain 8 single crochet in the single crochet stitch so you just repeat like this way so like that you have to repeat row 15 and row 16 till you reach row 38 okay just continue the chain 8 chain 8 single chain 8 single and then the v stitch single v stitch single okay so you just repeat the two rows for the whole pattern depends on the size if you want you can increase the from row 38 to row 40 or row 42 based on your size so you just continue like this way so I have completed 38 rows now 
So, after 13 rows, 14, 15, right? After this is 13 rows, so 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and this is the 38. So, till that chain 8 single, right? So, till that row, I have stopped. After that, we are changing the pattern. So, from here onwards, we have made a slip stitch in the single crochet stitch, right? So, now again, we have to make a single crochet in the chain 8 space. So, single crochet, so 7 single crochet, this is a second single, third single, fourth single, fifth single, sixth single and seventh single. So, seven single crochet we have made here ok and then skip the single crochet stitch then make a seven single crochet in chain eight space. So, this whole row you have to work on seven single crochet in every chain eight space. Uh, no need to make any single crochet in the single crochet stitch ok. So, you just continue like this. Just continue 7 single, 7 single in every chain 8 space till the end of this row here ok. So, I have completed here 7 single now ok we have to make a 7 single crochet in the last chain 8 space. to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch here. Then chain 1, fasten off the yarn. That is it. So, we have completed the top. I think this is a very easy pattern, ok, easy design too and very unique one. So, this is the design of the border. So, now we have to start the border of the neck and sleeve with the picard stitch. For that I am going to start from the back portion. This is the back side of the top. So, I have to start from here like this. Join the yarn, chain 1, make a single crochet in the same stitch. and then single crochet in next 3 stitches. So, 1, 2, and then 3. Now, in the 3rd stitch like chain 3, do the slip stitch in the two loops like here make a slip stitch ok. So, you have to make a picard stitch in the every fourth stitch of the single crochet. Now, you have to make a single crochet in three stitches 1, 2, 3 ok and the next stitch you have to make a single with the picard. So, chain 3 and then slip stitch in the first stitch here, the two loops and then make a single crochet in the next three stitches. So, like that you have to do the pattern. Mm -hmm. 
so you just continue like this okay so every fourth stitch is a picard stitch single crochet in three stitches so like that you just repeat till the end the same design we have to do for the sleeve also then single in the three stitches and then single crochet picot stitch so just repeat like this make sure you have to start from the back side of the top just continue till the end here so i have completed now i am going to make a single crochet in next stitch so and then this is the second single third single and then one more single i am going to do now extra one because i need to do a picard shell here okay so picard stitch and then make a slip stitch to finish this round now make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round chain 1 fasten of the yarn so we have done with the neck portion now do the same for the sleeve okay so back side and i have completed picot stitch design for the one side sleeve so we will do the same for the other side okay so with the similar pattern design so for that i am going to start from here under sleeve here you, we made one single right so we have to start from the single crochet to join the yarn and then chain one make a single crochet in the same stitch here and then in the chain space is there right so here you have to make single crochet so first single crochet and then second one third one and then fourth single okay so in the fourth single you have to make a picot stitch so first single crochet in the single crochet stitch and then we have made a four single crochet in the chain space in the fourth single we have made a picot stitch now and then make a single crochet in next three stitches so 1 2 3 and then in the next stitch here make a fourth single and then make a picot stitch then make a single crochet in three stitches 2 3 and fourth stitch so fourth single crochet stitch make a picot stitch so just repeat like this till the end okay so you just continue till here so i have completed now at the end we have to make a single crochet 
two, three, four, and then again one fifth single crochet. There you have to make a picot stitch. The starting and ending you have to make a picot stitch in the fifth single. Then make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round. Then chain one, fasten off the yarn. That is it. So, we have completed the very pretty and easy top. This you can try for any size. Okay. So, very easy one. We, we need only 240 grams of yarn for the big size top. Okay, if you are making small size mint, you just uh, need a 200 grams of yarn. So, we have done with the picard stitch in the sleeve and neck and this is the size of the top. I have explained everything in the beginning of the tutorial itself, the measurement. So, the neck design. So, I hope you really like this tutorial and this is the design of the top. If you like this one, please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon. I have given my Facebook and Insta link in the description. You can follow me in Facebook and Insta. Okay. So, very nice, very cool top. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. I will definitely reply you. Thank you.